This week, 536 new stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total stalls to 55,695 and increasing the progress to 30.94% of the 180,000 needed according to the National Renewable Energies Laboratory 2023 study by 2030. Let's get into the update. Blink added seven stations, 7-Eleven added two stations, Circle K added 14 stations. The Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub did not add any stations, but I'm gonna show that they are increasing their stall count at their existing locations. Pilot Flying J added one station, Tesla added 27, Electrify America added one, ChargePoint added 19, EVgo added four, but it should be noted, even though they added four stations, their total station count decreased by one. So they must have closed five stations. EVConnect added five. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First is Blink, and their data is continuing to be all over the place. So I'm just going to not say these are new open stations, but these are entries that are in the database that are new. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, you can look at the ID field, but the open data is you know, really all over the place. But just kind of take this with a grain of salt. 7-Eleven added two in British Columbia, uh, both in a town I don't know how to pronounce, Kamloops, I think. Circle K. Um, their additions are missing many. Uh, for instance, I know in Wilson, North Carolina, there's an additional st station that has not been added yet. And they haven't added any in a long time. So assumingly, someone went and did some data entry, but they didn't complete everything that they have added. But at least we have um, some additions added to the database. And assumingly, we're going to get some more uh, once they find the time to do so. All of them four stalls. Typically, uh, Circle K will build four stalls and have additional conduit runs for an additional four. And here's the Mercedes-Benz charging hub that I was mentioning. And let me see if I can move my head away. If you look here in the number of stalls, all these ones that are at 10 used to be six. And we also got indication that uh, from Brandon Flash that this one here in uh, Temple, Texas, that six, he was there and he said 10. So I'm guessing they're in the process of adding the additional four there. They're just not available yet. So um, they're going through and uh, building that out. And um, assumingly all the ones that are at the Bucky's in phase one will have 10 stalls once they're finished. Pilot Flying J added one, the first one in the state of California in Patterson, four stalls. Tesla is in two pages. There's just a very a uh, high number of Tesla stations that opened up, plus one that is 64. As I've mentioned previously, anything with the J7072 combo is a magic dock location. And um, just all over the place, they are really going gangbusters. I'm guessing because the other OEMs are getting access to the supercharger network, they're increasing their builds or something. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe they're just very passionate and are on a mission in order to... Um, get as many stations in the ground as they can. Here's the 64 stall in Upland, California. And um, again, just all over the place. Hoover Dam, Blue Lagoon. This is interesting. I used to work on Blue Lagoon Drive in Miami. It's on the south end of the airport near the Dolphin Expressway. A great place to spend two hours in traffic <laughs> because normally the traffic there sucks. <laughs> you get on the Dolphin Expressway and then you spend the rest of your morning there. Okay, Electrify America added one in Loomis, California. Eric from the News Coulomb YouTube channel uh, recently did a video uh, where he was at this location for a good amount of time and he walked around. So if you want to see it, go over and check Eric's uh, video on the uh, News Coulomb YouTube channel. It is now open. And here's ChargePoint. I did try to coalesce, but some of them, I guess because their addresses are slightly off, didn't coalesce. Uh, but uh, still doing what ChargePoint does. I don't see anything that of interest really is the usual suspects, independent CPOs and car dealerships. If you go ahead at 418 Salt Station in uh, Brentwood, California, a six and two fours. 
So if you'll notice, California is getting a lot of builds. They got the big 14 stall Electrify America. They got three out of the four EVgo and a whole bunch of Tesla. So state of California, I know it's a tough place to drive an EV just because of the lack of chargers and the high adoption rate, but it seems to be, uh, at least in this update, there's a lot going on in the state of California. And EV Connect. Again, usual suspects. One new one of interest, Baylor University in Waco. One honorable mention, actually there's two honorable mentions. The first one is uh, BP Pulse added two stations. And I'm thinking of taking the Rivian Adventure Network off because they just haven't done anything in months. But BP Pulse has been kind of clipping away at a slow pace, but at least they're making progress. And so I've been thinking of replacing Rivian with BP Pulse, but we'll give it a couple more weeks to see what happens. Uh, the other honorable mention that I want to call out is in Canada, there's a hardware manufacturer called Flow, and they have this new unit that is 400 kilowatts. It's a very large dual handled uh, unit with really nice cable management. And um, they've just started to deploy the first ones of these in Canada. And let me show you what it looks like. Here's a good picture of it. So flow in Canada starting to deploy their 400 kilowatt chargers. Thanks for watching.